Aloha and welcome back to Children's Stories by Ohana, where we share children's stories from around the world and I teach you how to play songs using my favorite instrument, the ukulele. My name is Uncle Amos and today we go to Cameroon where I share a story about Chica and the soccer star. When Chica's older brother Ngoma went away, Chika was very sad. He missed his brother so much. Ngoma was his best friend. One day after Ngoma left, Chika went to the Ndo tree and picked a fruit. He began to kick it around. Soon he became very good at kicking this Ndo fruit around. One day Chika was playing with Ndo fruit when he had someone call his name. Chika! When he looked, it was his brother Ngoma. He was so excited. He shouted and ran over to his brother Ngoma. And his brother said, look what I brought for you, Chika. He pulled out something and gave it to Chika. It was a small card with a picture and some writing. It's a football card, Ngoma explained. Chika's eyes widened. He'd heard about football cards but never really owned one. Who is this? he asked. Goma replied, it's Roger Miller. He's Cameroon's most famous soccer player. After Goma left, Chika held the football card and said, I am going to be like Miller one day. He whispered. When Chika played with the door fruit, he told the other kids, I'm like Miller. But you know what they did? They just laughed at him and said, Miller doesn't play football with a door fruit. Chika was sad, but he carried on practicing his soccer skills using the door fruit. One day, Ngoma came back to visit. Look, Chika, he said and he held out a soccer ball and gave it to Chika. Chika looked at it. His mouth was wide open and his eyes were wide open and he was, they were shining and he was so happy. It was the most beautiful thing he had ever seen. He said he was so excited that that football was for him. Goma laughed with joy. Of course, little brother, he said. This is just for you. After that, Chika spent all his time playing with the ball. The other children watched him. They were jealous. Now I look like Miller, Chika told them. The other children still laughed at him. Miller doesn't play with those old tattered shoes, they said. But Chika continued playing. One day, some visitors came to the village. They brought clothing and shoes. One man saw Chika playing with a soccer ball. He said, I have something for you, my boy. And out of a bag, he took a pair of shoes. The man held them out to Chika, but he just stood and stared. They were soccer boots the most beautiful shoes he'd ever seen. He looked down at his shoes that he had holes on, that hardly stayed on his feet, and that he used to play the soccer ball with. And he looked at this new soccer ball, soccer shoes, and he was so excited that he could finally play soccer. You need to wear the correct boots, the man said to Chica. Chika sat down and put on his new boots. He stood up and looked at his feet. Next thing, Chika had a voice. What do you have there, little brother? Chika swung around. It was Ngoma. Look what this man gave me, Chika said. I can play real soccer now. Well, later that day, Chika and Ngoma played with a soccer ball with Chika's new soccer boots. And Chika looked at the other kids and said, now I look like Roger Miller. 
the other children looked at him. But this time, they did not laugh at him. They asked him, could we play with you? Chika looked at Goma, looked at the soccer ball, and looked at his boots. Sure, he said, you can play with me anytime. And from that day forward, all the children got together, played soccer with Chika with his new soccer boots and his soccer ball. The end. Thank you for traveling to Cameroon with me. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel, ping the notification bell and like this video so you never miss a story from me. And if you'd like to learn how to play a song from Cameroon and all over the world using the ukulele, click on the links below. And until I see you next time, the stories continue. Aloha!